In the last video, we have added a raised button to our sign-in page and we have seen that the button becomes enabled when we add the unpressed callback. At this point, it is a good time to explain how callbacks work and how they affect the way buttons behave in Flutter. So first of all, let's tap through the unpressed callback and let's see what the documentation says. So over here we can read call when the button is tapped or otherwise activated and if this is set to null, then the button will be disabled. So if you remember, in the previous video, the button was disabled until we added the unpressed callback to our code. So one thing that we need to understand with buttons is that the unpressed callback is actually an optional property. And what that means is that if we want, we can omit the property altogether. And also this is exactly the same thing as adding the unpressed property by giving it a value of null. So what I mean is that here we could just replace this and put null instead, which is completely valid syntax. And if we hot reload, we can see that the button is disabled again. So two things we need to remember here. One is that the unpressed callback is optional. And the second is that setting it to null is the same thing as not having it at all. Now, the reason for that is that unpressed is a named parameter of raised button and named parameters in Dart are always optional and their default value is null. So we should now understand why leaving out the unpressed callback or setting it to null is the same thing and why this causes the button to be disabled. If you remember, we have also seen that when we provide a value to our callback, then the button becomes enabled. So the way I've done this before is with a syntax which has two pairs of brackets. So round brackets and curly brackets like this. So how does this work? Well, once again, we can look at the documentation and we can see that the type of the unpressed property is void callback. So let's tap through this as well and see what we get. And here we can read that void callback is a type definition, also called a type def, and it is defined as a function that takes no parameters and returns no data, which is normally uh, written with type void. So in order to supply the unpressed callback to our raised button, we had to give it a method that takes no parameter and returns no data. Now, one way that we could do that, for example, uh, down here, could be to type in a new method called void uh, sign in with Google, right? And give it no parameters. And I could actually pass this to the on pressed callback of my button over here. And the compiler would be happy with this. In practice, this is often what we want to do. And in fact, later on, we will add the code for authenticating with Google here. Like this. However, for now, we only wanted to quickly provide a callback so that we can enable our button. So the quickest way to do this is just to implement the callback in one line. And maybe now this syntax makes a little bit more sense because the first pair of brackets over here defines the parameter list and in our case, this should be an empty list. And the curly braces here define the implementation, which is just an empty implementation. Okay, so for now, we're just going to leave this callback like this, and we can remove this method because we don't need it yet. And we are now ready to continue on the next video.